play dead will you regret everything that you did that you said i don't think you understand what you're doing so hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll teach you how to create 3d motion tracking animation and guys i apply 3d object in your live footage right okay so guys for this tutorial i'm not using any third party add-on and plugin so guys i'm using this time after effect 2025 version and also guys you can download all project file from my website free so go to on here i see that's my new composition from footage check and apply clip and import yeah so guys next one go to on here track camera check and also guys go to on here advanced and it's my detail analysis check okay so guys my tracking is finished and my average error is 0.62 pixels is good for my work and next one guys select any three tracker points so like this this position is fit for my work and now right click guys set ground and plane origin check and one more time right click create solid and camera check yeah perfect right see that's my tracker and next one guys little bit increase scale size scale size increase and little bit on here yeah good okay so now guys i apply some 3d objects to go to on here project and right click import and import file so guys i have some 3d model like this and select your 3d model drag and drop on main com yeah and click on here make composition size check yes perfect and press ok yeah see guys that's my 3d object and next one guys i apply li also lighting so guys for lighting so use environment texture so go to on here see guys that's my environment texture and import so simple drag and drop on main form like this and right click guys see that's my sdr texture so right click click on here light and light type i like environment check and also cast shadow check so press ok yeah and source so source default to change sdr at check yeah great okay so now set your 3d object on this one so guys go to on here go to on like a front view panel and see guys that's my 3d model and second one it's my flow so guys select your 3d model and up select and up like this yes and closer guys go to on here this side guys you can change like uh, this my top view panel top view check and apply on here yes perfect right and again go to on here active camera check yeah this position is fit for my work and now next one guys you can hide this this one plane so go to on track solid and material so accept shadow i take only yeah great so now i select your 3d model and change little bit position like this and little bit down yeah perfect and also guys you can change also this my shadow so you can change shadow rotation see guys that's my x rotation and y rotation so change like this yeah this this angle is perfect for my work yeah great and also guys i create rotation animation so select your 3d model and press r and rotate your 3d model like this yeah so guys y rotation check and now guys go to last and like a y i like to check so go to back and play yes see guys that's my really cool object and i apply 3d model in live footage okay so guys my first object is perfect and now guys i apply second object so right click import and import file and go to on here see guys that's my second object and same simple drag and drop and make com side check and press ok yeah and again go to on top view panel see guys that's my second object so i apply on this side so simple drag and drop and on here yes and go to on again front view panel guys 
front so go to an up like this yeah great okay so guys active camera and fit 200 percent check yes great see so that's my some 3d object and little bit closer and now guys same rotation change so select your 3d model and press r so actually this one this is my z rotation z rotation check last so take a two and zero yes perfect and now guys select your key and press f9 for smooth effect and press f9 and go to our back and play yes see guys that's my really cool objects and now guys i create text animation so guys for text so guys my this animation is perfect and i apply text effect so guys type any letter like a dollar five and double zero comma three times zero guys type your any text is depending on your work and guys next one go to an align align check and also see that's my syntax is so go to our mid so shortcut command is press ctrl alt and press home button yes right it's my center okay so guys now next one i apply animation so guys for animation go to on here effect and presets so see that's my text and see that's my different different style of animation default animation and go to on here animation in but guys this time uh this one drop in by character apply like this and play yes this animation is perfect for my work so again play yeah great okay so guys now next one so select your 3d text and press u and guys go to on here see that's my key so guys shift layer like a three second go to like a six second so select your this one key and copy and paste yeah great and like a 12 second copy and paste yes that's it so guys play yeah right see guys, that's my simple animation and next one guys i apply this time 3d text so guys for 3d so click on here so 3d check yes and now guys go to like a this time top view panel so position change go to on here and also front view panel go to an up here like this and active camera check yeah and fit 200 percent check here yes and now guys go to back and play yes great right see guys that's my really simple animation and also guys you can change position it's dependent on your work so go to on here okay like a three second and little bit change position like this yeah perfect and also go to on mid okay so now guys this time i create 3d so guys for 3d go to on geometry and extrude depth increase like a hundred hundred and go to on top view panel top check so guys little bit front little bit little bit front yes and active camera check so also guys i apply this time gold effect so select your text and now guys change color so guys firstly the color code is h40 s80 and b90 it's my color code and now guys this time go to our material here see guys that's my material option so guys see that's my specular intensity so little bit increase like a 80 and see guys that's my specular shiny i take 100 percent 100 percent yes and metallic little bit change like a 80 yes perfect see guys that's my metal effect and now guys again go to geometry so convex check and bevel depth i like five yes perfect great right okay but guys it's not looking so good because my render setting is so much low so guys again go to back and play so guys my 
gold material is perfect closer see guys that's my gold material and now guys you can hide this grainy effect noisy so guys for best render setting go to on here render option and render quality i like 32 32 yeah and smoothness i like 22 yeah and guys click on here fit to screen check yes press ok see guys my render is beautiful right it's looking really beautiful and now guys go to one back from zero frame see guys that's my environment lighting so go to on here and it will be to increase this one this is my intensity like a 101 and shadow darkness little bit change like a 80 yes perfect and fit 200 percent check yes okay see guys that's my beautiful animation right my render is looking really beautiful okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you